All right, before starting the heart samples, I wanted to share this Amazon link, the Gorilla Logic Based Puzzle Game booklet. It's like 10 inches tall by maybe six inches wide. It's only paperback, costs $6 USD. And with the author is Scott Smith. So in case you want to take a look inside, you can view this Amazon link. All right, I will continue with the rest of the puzzle now. I'm starting with the line that has three correct digits. Line two has two pairs of eights. So no matter which one we eliminate, we're always going to have at least one eight, which means there's always going to be that eight in the puzzle. And if you look at line two, none of the eights belong in the third or fourth position. And we know eight is correct, but it's in the wrong position. So that means the eight can only be in the first position. Because only one eight is correct, and we know these two eights are in the wrong position, which means there's only one eight in the puzzle. So we can assume that the six does belong in another spot. And if I go down to the fifth line, only the six is correct, which means there are no fours and no twos. And in the sixth line, it tells us that there are no ones or threes either. Also, because we're told that the six, this is the white digit for six, and we know it is in either the second or the third place because of this hint, and we know it's not in the second place, so the six has to belong in the third position. Oh, we know there's no more than two, one, eight in the answer, so that means the last correct digit has to be the seven. And if this six is the black point and the 7 is the white point, we know the 7 belongs in the second position, which means the 5 has to belong in the last position. So if we look at it, that's the black point, this is the white point, 3 white points, 1 black point, white point, white point, a single white point, a black point, a white point, and another white point, two white points, one black, one white, two white, oh, this is also a white point, three white points, one black, one white, so we know this is correct. All right, I'm going to start with the zero, zero, which means there is no ones, no twos, no fives, no six. Okay, the first line, which means the four and the nine has to count. So we know there is a 4, there is a 9. And line 2 tells us that there is no 3's in the puzzle either. And line 5 tells us there is at least one 7. Well, at most one 7. We have a 9 counting as one point, and the 7 has to be the other. And since there are no 2 and 5s in the puzzle, we know the 8 has to be the last digit with this last clue. So, using the hints from the bottom, we know the 8 does not belong in the 1st and 3rd position. The 9 does not belong in the last position. The 6, no, the 4 does not belong in the last position which means the 4 does not belong in the last position, and 9 does not belong in the first position. Looking at the first and second line, we know the line, the 9s does not belong in either ends, but we know the 4 does not belong in the end, which means the 4 has to belong here. The 4 would be the black point, the 9 would be the white point. It's the only thing that makes sense. And because we know where the 4 goes, we know 8 does not belong here. Alright, so there's a logic reasoning behind this choice, but if I chose the 8 to belong in the 4th digit, that would force the 7 and the 9 to either both be wrong positions or both of them to be in the right positions. 
and because we only have one in the correct position and one in the wrong position, we know the fourth digit cannot be an 8, which means 8 belongs in the second position. And using the first line, we know the 9 does not belong in the last position. So this is our final answer. And if we double check, black point, white point, two white points, zeros. Uh, this is the white point, the black point, the white point, the white point, white point, one, 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 that's one, that's zero, two whites, one black, one white. So this is the correct answer. All right, if you ever want to try out more, you can buy the book and have fun solving. There are some really challenging puzzles out there, so enjoy and take care.